What's up, YouTube? Today, I want to get into fragrance and age. And this is one thing. I know not everybody's going to like everything, so, I mean, we got to get into this. First of all, I know a lot of high school students tend to like fresh fragrances. Like, you know, a lot of times when you start getting into fragrance, you're going to start with X. You're going to start with Tag. You're going to start with the body sprays, and you're going to start with, you know, the fresher scents in a lot of cases. Like, a lot of people in college, Aqua Di Gio, Polo Blue, Fierce Cologne tend to be common in that crowd. And you'll have some cool water, you'll have the Calvin Kleins and a lot of the fresher citrus, you know, kind of the unisex sense. Now, as people get older, you know, this is where we start to have a bracket. Like, you'll have some older people that like to wear Curve, and then you'll have some younger people that like to wear English leather. So, I mean, there's so much overlap, and you'll see people of all ages wearing all different types of scents. So, how do we decide... Well, overall, like, you got to look at the composition and your audience. You're going to be around. And now, like, in college, you got to consider the strength of the scent, you know, how it's going to work. Because there's sometimes a guy can go into a store and buy something that smells really good. But the problem is it's way too strong, and then it's harder for them to wear. And they may be in a date with somebody who's got allergies who just doesn't get into that fragrance. Well, the same thing with like college. You may be in class and you're wearing, you know, Zarius Rohe and Body Coros and Le Mall and you just get your whole arsenal of what you th see getting rated highly in base notes and then you notice you wear it in school and people are sitting across the room because it's too strong. And so like work sense and nighttime sense and date night sense, you know, it's all geared towards the person because you got to look at what you need and what you are going to wear, you know, what will help you. And like in college, the fresh party scents tend to be the, the big winners. Like one million is actually better for a college student than it is for a 40 year old person. Now, on the other hand, you add a little more spice to one million and it's not, you take out the sweetness and the fruity notes and you have a much deeper, richer smell than you have Ted Lapis Black Soul. And that's more of an older said you know it's more like mature for somebody like 30 plus and body coros you know people have compared lolita olympica and body coros the difference is that body coros has the inc incense and the eucalyptus and a lot of those notes that maybe for somebody who's you know established in fragrance like has evolved their tastes because body coros if somebody who was 15 years old smelled it they'd be like what the hell Whereas if somebody's 35 smells it, it's like a heavenly smell because they have gotten into fragrances and they've gotten a nose for it. And like all the noses, base notes and forget Nika and YouTube, they weren't all good at one point. They weren't all into fragrances, knowing everything, but they went through scents and they all, everybody will tend to have a certain thing they collect in a short period of time. And then they start to move away from it. And after a few bottles of a certain fragrance, some people will move to something else and so a lot of people will have a signature now a signature can be good and bad like if you're wearing a nighttime scent during the day and that's your signature you know maybe a little too heavy and if you're wearing it during the hot summer and it's more of a cold weather scent it maybe may not work well with the climate so it's important to have you know make sure the scent is geared towards the purpose like in college and for a younger person fresh fragrances tend to give that fresh clean smell like you're out of the shower and so to a lot of people spice and stuff like that would be too refined now on the other hand as people get older they want more spice and woods and leather and richer notes in the dry down because it gives a more sophisticated feel and it makes the scent more alive and so like a lot of fresh stuff will just smell lacking after a while and so you know it's like you'll see that a lot of young people buy polo blue and they buy aqua digio and actually, Aqua Di Gio is purchased by people of all ages, but then you see more older people buying the more sophisticated scents and the more woodsy scents. And so basically, there is pretty much, you know, depending on my interest, A will buy
And you find it in the European market too. The fragrances are a little bit different. Like people in the European market, especially like in France, they use all different ingredients. And they don't just use citrus with a woodsy must dry down and have a conventional kind of scent. They tend to use lots of spices and rich woods and they use different types of leather. They use different types of musk. They use different types of amber. Amber gillis. They can use animalic notes to kind of give a sensual dry down. They use a little bit of fragrant wood and some spice and they use lavender to give it a fresh, you know, kind of tie together the dry down. And you see a lot of the scents like a lot of times the mainstream stuff tends to have a sweet appealing side to it but you got to try it on first like Le Mall and One Million a lot of those they're heavy and sweet but you know they're loved and hated at the same time and they have been used extensively by younger people and so because they've been used extensively by younger people there's always people put more than a few sprays on and they smell up the room and then people quickly get sick of those scents and you know, as people get older, this is where, like, I th a lot of older people don't want a lot of silicon scents. And they tend to like more refined kinds of scents. Whereas, like, a lot of younger people, they tend to want the silage. And so, silage is one thing that really can make or break a fragrance. And you'll see where some reserve people want to have a very understated scent that, you know, it's very subtle. It kind of has that. You know, a nice dry down, people get close to you, and then other people want a scent that travels. So when they go to a club or they're hanging out at a party, people smell it. So these are all things to consider, and basically, that's the end of the fragrance.